Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samina Faruqi. I am a watercolor artist specializing in floral design. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to paint monochromatic flowers, much like the ones you see right now on your screen. I have done a live on these on Instagram where I showed you how to paint them. But if you don't follow me on Instagram um, or you want an even slower version, um, you've come to the right place. Uh, I'll be breaking it down here and I'll be starting from the very beginning and I'll go much slower um, and I hope you enjoy this and I hope you learn from it and uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram then this is my handle and you can follow me there. Alright, let's get started. Okay, for today's video I'm going to be using a size 10 brush. Um, you can go ahead and use whatever brush you're most comfortable with. So for me, that's a size 10 and that's what I'll be using. I have my two uh, glasses of water right here. I have my two glasses of water right here, two jars of water um, and my paint, of course. So I'm gonna be mostly painting in this indigo color and this is um, Indigo by Van Gogh. It comes in a tube form. I don't have the exact tube right here on hand, but this is what it would look like and of course it would be the correct color right so i start off by my brush is completely dry i'm going to start off by wetting my brush so i swirl it in my water okay and then because my paint is also dry i haven't started painting for the day i'm going to go ahead and just move my brush around in the paint and i make sure i rotate my brush so I get all sides and because I'm using such a pigmented color I don't need that much on my brush so I'm gonna stop at that and I'm gonna begin painting my flower so I'm gonna be only painting five petal flowers today on repeat um, if you don't know how to paint a five petal flower or you would like to work on your technique or just see how I, I paint them um, you can check out my video on five petal flowers also available here on YouTube so that's my first petal I've put down and for my second petal I want to make it very light this is very intense in color it's full of pigment so because I want my second petal to be much lighter I'm gonna just swirl my brush in the water and that really takes out a lot of the paint that was on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and paint the second petal. Okay, right next to it, I make sure these two petals touch a little bit at some point. And I'm going to go in my third petal with whatever's left on my brush. Okay, for the fourth petal, again, I want it dark now because I want to just create that beautiful look of a very heavily pigmented petal next to a very light petal. Okay, that's my fourth. And then I can choose to either have it light or dark. Doesn't matter at this point because it's a five petal flower. Um, I'm just gonna paint with whatever is left on my brush. Okay, so just make sure the petals touch at some point. There should be some contact point. For these two petals, it's right here. For these two, it's right here. And because you're working fairly faster than I am currently, you probably will not be talking while you're working. Um, there will be a little bit of bleed happening and that's what gives it that really pretty look. Okay, so just make sure you're using really good quality paper. I always emphasize on that. Uh, I'm gonna wet my brush right now if it's really dry and get some more paint for the next flower. So we're gonna be doing the same thing, okay? So I'm just taking the tip. Well, the way I show you how to paint a five petal flower in my other video is uh, quite different from what I'm doing right now, where I'm just going in and painting the petals. Okay. So my petals are just roundish, flattish. Okay, now I'm dipping my brush in water. 
and it takes several strokes for me to get a petal of this size even though I'm using such a big brush so don't worry about trying to paint a petal in a single stroke that's not gonna happen unless you're using a size 16 or anything larger than that okay so it takes me several strokes and I kind of like to outline and then go fill it in my edges are always jagged yours don't have to be if you want to make them perfectly neat ovals then go for it so I just wanted to initiate a little contact there and then my brush currently is loaded so I'm just touching the insides of the petals to make the center of it darker I didn't do that for this one I just forgot and now I'm rinsing my brush off again let me show you how I'm doing that just a quick swipe in the water and you'll see how much paint is being released so there's still plenty of paint in my brush also depends on the size of brush you're using because I'm using a size 10 it holds a lot of water and a lot of paint so that works out okay and there's my fifth petal okay so just a little bit on the petal shape shape of the petal um, if you can imagine a triangle, right? And then you're gonna round off all of its edges. So I rounded that off, I rounded that off, and now I'm gonna round that off. Okay, that wasn't so round, we can make it rounder. Okay, and as far as if this is the center of the flower, uh, these two can be, this edge and this edge can be smooth and neat if you want. Okay, for example, these Two edges are pretty smooth and for this one I didn't want it smooth so I went ahead and did an extra stroke here okay for this one and then this top edge I like it unsmooth not smooth okay I like it kind of rough and jagged so for that I need to add several strokes okay so I'm not gonna bring my brush around and make it smooth like this okay I'm going to paint like this and then up and down so that it gets jagged. Okay, so I'm going to paint a third one right here so you can see that again. Okay, and I'm just starting off with a point, so I'm holding my brush pretty vertical and I'm applying pressure. Add a little bit of wiggle. And that's what's giving me the edge, the, the jagged edge, is that wiggle. Okay. So I just loaded my brush with paint. See that wiggling I'm doing? That's what's giving the edge. And then occasionally, you know, you paint up and down too. Just added more water on my brush and now I dip it back into the paint. Okay, see how I just did that stroke? Because I didn't want a smooth edge there, and then I go at it, go in and fill it in. Now I wash some of the paint off. To get started, if you're having trouble with spacing and squeezing in five petals, start with three petals. Start with four petals. Okay, you don't have to do the five petal flower right away. And now I'm just gonna go in and add some leaves to this. And it's the same uh, technique as far as the color and their values, keeping them light and dark 
we're just going to dip in water to lighten and dip in paint to darken. Right? And you can add whatever kind of leaves you want. Um, I have a video on leaves as well showing you how to paint leaves. It's very beginner friendly and I show you how to paint several different types of leaves. So check it out. You could switch to a smaller brush if you like to paint the leaves. That would be a nice um, look. I'm just sticking to my size 10. Okay, so I think you get the idea. works. Uh, I'm going to go back into this first flower. My rest of the petals are still kind of wet. So I'm going to leave that alone and I'm going to go back into my first flower. You could stick to the size that you have on hand. Uh, I'm going to switch down to a size four. Wet the brush, load it with paint, the same color that I was using and I want a concentrated um, brush loaded with paint and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the center. Now you could just do a completely full, like solid circle as the center or however you want really. And I like the speckle look on these kind of, um, on these kind of flowers. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Oh, actually I switch it up, whatever I feel like doing. So today this is what I'm going to do. Oh, I was going to show you a filled in look, but this petal is still wet so I thought I'd let that dry a little bit and I'll get back to it and we paint some monochromatic flowers in a green which is what uh, I did for my live on Instagram too I've been wanting to paint in a green Exact same thing like on a lighter petal I dip it in water and wash some of that paint off and if I want a darker petal I dip it in paint solid circle for the centers of these ones what it would look like which is pretty too so it just depends what you're in the mood for there you go All right just really loaded with paint um, and then you can Sprinkle it with dots around the center. That's a pretty look too. Or you can leave it this way. All right, so there you go. You have three different um, centers for the same flower and you can pick and choose, okay? Um, something else you can do for these flowers is add details using a detail brush, either size zero or lower. Um, just using a very fine tip brush and going in and just adding some very fine lines to make sure they're curved. 
curved for the most part. And of course, don't skip around like me. Go ahead and finish that one. just coming from the center or you can have them coming from the top as well. You could have them going all the way through from top to bottom. For example right here. Right. Just depends on the look you're going for. Just make sure you keep them uh, broken broken lines. So uh, a great way to thank me would be to give me a thumbs up uh, to spread the word and definitely to, just to subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. Um, I hope that uh, you found this video helpful and see you next time. Bye.